Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long and unresolved questions holds you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on and on On and on I'm moving on and on On and on I'm driving in my car Keep changes around me on and on I feel almost whatever Good morning everyone welcome to the beautiful Texas Gulf Coast we are at the South Jetty we're gonna try our hand for some flounder last year this time frame we did exceptionally well taking about six of them and uh, they were all off of finger mullet so we've got that inside the bait bucket along with some shrimp just in case I've got a medium power rod right here seven foot long 3000 series spinning reel with 10 pound braid a 30 pound leader and a number two circle hook let's see what we're going to be able to do today all righty come here okay we're going to have to figure some kind of a system out don't want the shrimp i want the minnows where's the minnows these guys keep flopping around I'm not able to get them Normally just gonna go right inside their mouth, move that bottom lip, and then hook them through the top of the head. There we go, right there. Just like that. Using a circle hook, even though you don't have a better hookup ratio, the circle hook will make sure that we don't gut hook any of our friends that we're gonna be releasing back in the water. If I were gonna keep them, I would contemplate a uh, treble hook, but because I have no intent on keeping them, uh, I don't want to accidentally gut hook these fellas. Uh oh, there we go. That's the thump right there. He's got it. He's got it. There we go. Is that a speckled trout? Look at that. Totally unexpected. That's not, man, you glutton. That's a freaking sand trout give me my mullet back dude idiot look at that you okay buddy yeah show me you're okay he's okay all right start things out with a nice big old sand trout And we're gonna possibly get two for the price of one. <laughs> get to reuse our mullet. All right, I think this is good enough right here. And this is the furthest that I'm gonna go down our jetty system. Mainly because there's really no need to go any further than this right here. This is that second break. Man, it's a long ways from the beginning of the jetty. The first one is just, it's not the same the way it used to be last year. So the bottom is just completely changed. Hopefully this one has got like a somewhat deep gut from the water rushing through. Yeah, it's pretty deep. I can feel my split shot getting snagged down there as it's coming back up. Okay, I think this is going to be my last cast right over here in this area. Not one bite. No need to worry. We'll go back over there to where we were just at. Try to get that guy right by the jetty itself because there's a nice little deep gut that runs the length of the jetty system. And that's where those fish are going to be cruising back and forth. And what my hope is that the flounder are going to be down there lying in wait. We've only had like one legit cold front, so I don't know if many of them have already left the marsh and the bay and stuff like that to start making that migration out towards the gulf.
Uh oh, there's the bite. There we go. Munch it, baby. Just giving him a chance to make sure he gets the whole thing in his mouth. I'm trying to see, I don't know. I felt the bite, but now I, there's no tension. No, no tension. Dang. Oh wait, there he goes, he's got it, he's got it. There we are, we got him. Boy, please don't be a ladyfish. The way it's fighting, it's probably a red or a ladyfish. But if it was a lady, she would have already went airborne. What is that? Looks like a red, y'all. That's a red. That is a nice red, too. And right in the corner of the mouth, just the way... <coughs> Dude, okay. <laughs> right in the corner of the mouth, the way the circle hooks are supposed to work. Chill out. Chill out for a second. I'm gonna put you right back, buddy. Goodness, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, dude, just like... Trying to tangle me up. All right, hold on, buddy. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> We're probably gonna catch everything except for what we came out here for. I'm still, my goal is the flounder. That's what I want. Great hook set, corner of the mouth. Makes it so much easier, especially whenever you let them take it for that long. You ain't gotta worry about gut hooking these guys. There we go. Let's show the camera really quick. And then we're gonna just let this guy go. Look at that. Get that dorsal up. <laughs> Such a great catch. Probably about a 23, 23 incher is what I'm, I'm gonna guess. There he goes. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Put those guys in shock. I'd be in shock too of the food that I was just trying to eat completely whacked me. Yeah, we're still good. Let's, uh, let's get another one out there. So that right there, y'all, is exactly what you're not supposed to do. They're supposed to, that's clearly a bull red, so he's over the slot. And what you're, if you're gonna decide to keep something like that right there, you're supposed to fill out a tag and immediately tag the fish. And these guys literally did not tag that fish, but yet they got it on a stringer. So that is what you do not want to do. There we are. We got him. That is the target species. A little bit small, but definitely what we're going for. A little bit early, huh, buddy? Right in the corner of the mouth. There we go. Nice. <laughs> this is so, dude is so small. This is freaking awesome. I'll see you later, homie. That is what we're looking for. I'm wondering how many more there that are down there. I mean, we've been getting robbed. Our shrimp have been taken from us left and right and I cannot feel the bite. And now we know why because it's just, some small little fellas. 
I mean, these are just really small bites, y'all. Ah, uh, not that time, buddy. Not that time. That's another nice red. All right, let's get him to gasp some air and then we'll turn that engine off. There we go. Oh, he just popped off the hook. I'm gonna check that and make sure we're still good. I don't mind the quick release. I would have liked to have shown y'all, but it's just the way it goes sometimes, especially whenever they're still green. I'm trying to work them really fast. Okay, let's check this hook out really fast. And we're still good. Sweet. There we are, that's another one, y'all. That feels like a flounder, though. Oh my gosh, look at this massive croaker. Holy, oh my gosh. Dude, you're lucky I didn't bring the stringer and the ice bag because you would be a, never mind. I was gonna say, you'd be a sandwich, but he got some growth. He got the, oh, bro. Chill out, oh, man. Thank you, quick release. He had that growth on his tail. That is pretty disgusting. Only the bad guys get that stuff. Damn, okay. That was the last straw right there, buddy. We're gonna walk down and uh, try to get away from these bait thieves. I mean, we're almost out as well, so it's gonna be a very short day. Lots of bait thieves robbed us blind let's see I'm gonna let this guy go it's your lucky day he's alive uh, trying to get the smallest shrimp too I guess since we're walking I'm gonna be casting quite a bit, so let's throw one of our finger mullet on. Are you kidding me? Dude, I didn't even realize I had something. I was wondering why I couldn't feel my, I was like, why is there so much slack? What is it? Oh, it's a little shark. Are you kidding me? No, man. All right. Well, we could have definitely done without that one. There we go. Took the hook and everything. Ah, that's a bummer. Oh, look at this. Here goes our, our mullet. <laughs> You get the, uh, you get all the glory, buddy. You survived the shark attack. Look at that. I don't know how you survived that, but we're gonna let you live. Just get away from me, though. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. So we're gonna go over here and uh, tie a new hook on. Continue using the remainder of our bait. And that should be it. One finger mullet and one croaker. Almost out. I don't know like who it is down there that's just eating the eyeballs off my shrimp. <laughs> just like if you can't see then you can't dodge me just letting it go down there like they're i mean these bait thieves they are already just attacking that shrimp it's like peck 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 
as soon as it gets down there, just with a regular split shot, circle hook, and that's it, those guys start going to town. It's like a chop shop, man. Seriously destroying what it is that I'm working on. And that is trying to catch a fish. You got all your appendages, bro? Okay, yeah, he's still good. We've made it all the way back to the start of the jetty and uh, didn't really get no more bites, y'all. I've been watching everybody on the jetty itself. No bites. Just, everything just kind of slowed down over the past two hours. So I think I'm going to release this finger mullet. Dude's in bad shape. <laughs> He's still kicking. Look at that. Looks like he has some lipstick on. Come on, let it go. Right there. And check that out. Some of the hardiest bait ever. And we do have one more bait fish. That's going to be the croaker. And he's not going on the hook. Let that guy live. I think that's all we got, right? Yeah, that's it. No more bait. Come here, Mr. Croaker. Look at that, that is perfect size bait too. We'll see you later, buddy. All right, let's clean our bucket out and then we're gonna head out of here. And that is it for the final cut. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I ain't even gonna lie, that shark, the encounter with that fella, I don't care how small he was, when it was swimming around me by my legs, I just got the heebie-jeebies, so I was like, ah, whew, thank goodness he got off the hook and was able to just cut through my 30-pound leader line. But uh, if you made it this far, obviously you made it this far into the video. Thank you for the dedicated support. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all that watch my videos from beginning to end. It's because of you that I continuously go out there and continue filming all my daily adventures. I'm a retired Marine Corps Master Gunnery Sergeant, combat veteran, and this is the way I choose to spend the rest of my days after a lifetime of service. And uh, yeah, fishing has brought back a calmness to my life and I am just grateful that I get to do it and it's because of y'all, so thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. It definitely helps out the channel with the algorithm in YouTube, recommending it to other viewers such as yourselves. So I truly appreciate that. But uh, that's gonna do it for this one. Everything that I used is gonna be linked in my video description down below. I get lots of questions about the line, the rod, the reel. Uh, just about everything is gonna be listed down there. So it'll answer a lot of your questions. And that's gonna do it, y'all. Until next time, tight lines, everyone.